Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Landric Plays Dawn of Man. It is uh, first thing in the morning when I'm recording this, so I am apologise if I am slightly groggy, but our settlement seems to be doing pretty well. So we're replacing our gate over here, that was one of the things we were doing. Uh, we haven't walled this bit off yet, that's a family of bears. Let's just avoid those, we'll let them do their thing. Got some walls snaking around here, you're going to walk right past all of the bears, aren't you? Well, hopefully they, they feel in a friendly mood. Uh, why are you all going around here? Oh, you're hunting things, that's why. So perhaps we need to put a gate over here, just so we can let people in and out to uh, hunt. Uh, we've got a fair few domestic animals and stables. How many animals can we have? I don't know. Does it tell us? Ah, there we go. So, animals that need shelter. We've got 18 animals that need shelter and 30, 30 total space. And we can also upgrade these, I think. Uh, and it's summer now, so we might as well. Can we upgrade it? Yeah, yeah, upgrade it to a stone stable. So I'll take some stone, which we've got plenty of, some sticks, which, you know, they're always around. So let's do that. And oh, let's bump the speed up a little bit as well, so stuff actually gets done. Uh, stone circle is coming along quite nicely. We've got three megaliths. I don't know if we've uh, got any more being transported, but we can worry about that later. I feel like the music's just gone slightly more, slightly more angry. Are we being raided? I hope not. Ooh, we'll worry about that later. There goes a bird. Aha, we've got some more knowledge. So let's have a look at our techs. We've got 23, that's right. We're trying to beeline to the Iron Age so we can start mining iron because we are slowly running out of copper and things like that. In fact, just before I hit the record button, I got a not notification that one of our copper mines had expired as well. But there's a couple of those here, so I'm not too worried. This one's still got plenty. You're dragging it all through this uh, ford. Yeah, we should have plenty of copper, so I won't worry about replacing that just yet. Yeah, loads of copper. In fact, lots more copper than tin. Maybe we'll put down another charcoal pit. I always press R to uh, rotate, because that seems a sensible key for it, but it's not. It's, uh, it's Z. Z and C. Uh, you know what, we'll just drop it there, that'll be fine. We can expand our metal working stuff this way if we want to, or we could put down some more houses. Oh, we've got another stable over here as well. Oh, and another stable over here. We've got loads of stables, no. No wonder we've got uh, all this space. Ah, although we've technically got 20 animals that need uh, shelter now, and only 20 space because we've destroyed this one. So, I'll wait for this to get rebuilt. Yeah, you're currently still just recycling it. You might even start uh, the rebuilding process, so we'll worry about that first, and then we will uh, then we'll probably upgrade the others, or maybe even raise some of our animal limits. That might be a nice thing to do. Got our cows wandering around. Of course, if we uh, up our animal limits, we are going to need to up the amount of hay we're gathering, or straw, I guess. Straw, hay, hay. It's a haystack, so it must be hay. So we'll probably include uh, or expand our farming a little bit as well, perhaps. Is there a, just a random bush in the middle of our... Yeah, there is. It's just started growing randomly in the middle of our uh, flax field. Ah, oh, it can stay there, that's fine. So what are you missing? You're missing eight rocks. Oh, you've got to clear this first, I see. There you go, you're bringing some rocks. Two more left, keep going. Uh, we've got plenty of stone we're gathering over here, yes, good. And there's just loads of stone lying around on the ground, so we're not going to run out of that anytime soon. New humans, lovely, we've got space for six more people. Uh, that's probably a good time to quickly upgrade this as well. So that'll... Yeah, drop us down to there, but then it'll increase it in the end. And I probably want to do that fairly regularly, just so that we're not totally capped on people. Oh no! What what just happened over here? Oh, our dog just died of old age. Oh, poor dog. Poor doggy. Okay, over here you're a hat. You're finally rebuilding the stable. Lovely. That's coming along really nicely. 
nice solid stone. It'll keep all of our animals lovely and toasty warm over the winter, and then they'll be delicious in the spring. There we go. So that's all done. So now we have space for 35, and we can... Where are we? We've got a couple of storage huts over here that could also probably stand to be upgraded to warehouses at some point, but first I will upgrade this. And you know what? I will upgrade one of these as well. Because otherwise we are going to end up running out of space. So you'll take all of that stuff out, you'll leave it on the ground, or probably store it in one of these warehouses instead. There we go. You are... Yep, yeah, you're still making lots of nice bronze tools. Perfect. Oops, started to rain. It is awesome. So we'll up see if we can get this stable upgraded before winter time. But we've still got enough space for all of our animals now that we've upgraded this one, so that's fine. Now somewhere I left a megalith. Was it over here? Ah, there it is. There's one over here. So we can also prepare this for transport. Uh, job ratio is a little bit high at the minute, but that's fine. I think we can add that. Uh, how much leather have we got? Oh, we've got loads of leather. Groovy. So, my plan is... In fact, let's take a quick look at the text again. Ah, 25! We can uh, actually upgrade now. Perfect. So if we go to the Iron Age, that unlocks the Bloomery, the Banner, the Iron Mine, the Deep Iron Mine, the Blacksmith, and Steel Making. Of course. So I guess the first thing we are going to want to do then is to put down a bunch of iron mines. Aha! So what's the deep iron mine? Let's have a quick look at the tech tree again. Tech tree, tech tree, tech tree. So do I want to put... oh we've got loads of iron mines nearby so I think we can get that and then whoop, we can... Uh, let's have a look. Yeah so there's plenty of iron mines nearby so I don't have to worry about one of them running out. You just put down it's a little bit of a shame that this will be outside of our walls, but then again, so would any of these. So it's not the end of the world. So let's put down a regular iron mine. We can mine just the one out, and then we'll replace them or upgrade them to deep mines, I think. So we'll put down just the one. This one, in fact, yeah, I'll leave those for when we've got deep mining, and I'll just put one over here like that. And then, I guess we are going to need bloomery to make melt iron ore into iron and steel. So yeah, the pit furnace can only do bronze, it's not strong enough. And likewise the blacksmith can only do uh, only do bronze working as well. So we'll put these over here I think. So I'll put one there, one there, and one there. And then maybe we'll put a blacksmith behind it. It's a little bit early for us to worry about it. But, oh, wow, the blacksmith is very small. Now yeah, we'll put it there like that. It's going to use up quite a lot of our resources, isn't it? Um, uh, ah, it's fine. It's mud and leather. We've got loads, like we've got loads of leather, and mud's just you know it's just lying around in the river. That's not a problem. Uh, you are still upgrading this, so you need one more log. How many logs have we got? We only have the one log, really. All right, we're going to need to cut down some more trees then. Uh, I guess we'll cut down these ones, the nearest. Uh, work area, trees, yeah, you'll do. There are some more trees growing over here, so we'll cut those down later. We haven't upgraded that house yet. Aha, you're also waiting for logs. Okay, we could should have... Uh, Coulda, shoulda, woulda cut down some trees earlier. Traders arrived though, so let's say hello to you. You have the bone polishing tech. Um, it's always nice not having to save up tech points, but we don't actually need it for anything. Uh, we might just buy some logs though, as they're ridiculously cheap and it will save us having to go and pick them up. Um, what do we want to sell? could just uh, sell some bread. Yeah, bread in exchange for logs, that seems good to me. Oh, <coughs> excuse me, you need a little bit of commission as well, there you go. Cool. 
So that just means we'll be able to upgrade these things slightly faster than otherwise. And we're now racing through our tax because we've built some new structures. Oh, you're all a little bit sad. You're a stick gathering area. Uh, we can probably remove you because there's not much in the way of sticks there. There we go, we're getting some more logs over here as well. So I still can't tell which way this gate is supposed Oh, let's just... I mean, so that's how it closes. But is this supposed to be the inside or the outside? I feel like if you had, you know, enemies out here, it would be harder to bash it in this way because it's supposed to open outwards. But I don't know. We'll see which side of it people try and stand. Ah, we made our first well as well. Well as well. Well, well, well. That looks quite nice. Can we see inside it? No, just a big black void. Still, that will slightly shorten the trip to the... Uh... Oh no, wild horses have gone extinct. That actually is kind of bad. Because it means we're not going to be able to... Uh... We're not going to be able to invent carts. Or rather, we can invent the cart, but we'll have nothing to pull it, which is somewhat, uh, somewhat of a problem. Hopefully there are wild donkeys around somewhere else. So we might still be able to get some of those, but yeah, that's a bit of a shame. It's, on the one hand, it's sort of nice that, you know, the, the landscape and the environment's constantly evolving and different races of animals, or different species of animals rather, are going extinct. Like, um, the mammoths go extinct quite early. But on the other hand, it's kind of a pain, because, you know, you're under time pressure. Got mine over here as well, cool. And I, I don't normally like being under time pressure. I like taking my time and building everything up nicely before I worry about, you know, taking on a giant mammoth. But here we are. I'll have to do that again another time, because I think there's an achievement for hunting a mammoth. It feels like the sort of thing that there would be. Okay. Looks like we've got some more stone sables. And you know what? I'm actually going to up the animal limits to... Oop, to ten of you... <coughs> Excuse me, I'm very coughing this morning. Uh, ten goats, ten sheep. Ten cows, ten pigs. So we got... So if we had ten, 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 ten. Yeah, that would be forty. And that's what we have space for. So that's fine. Do we have another shelter somewhere? Or shelter? Stable? Yes, this one. So we'll probably want to upgrade this as well, just so that we've got room to expand afterwards. Although we don't necessarily have to, and it is the middle of winter now, so maybe now is a bad time to do it. Similarly, probably a bad time to upgrade this last hut, but... Then again, probably better to do it sooner rather than later. So let's do that. Everyone will be able to sort of go somewhere else for now. There's space to uh, shuffle people around a little bit, so that's fine. The music's making me nervous. Are we about to be attacked? I hope not. So, with all of our new uh, techs, have we, or rather, all of our new buildings, have we unlocked anything else? No. Hmm. What do we want to go for next? I quite like the idea of making statues. We can also upgrade our granaries. Oh, the deep mines probably are a good thing to get. Let's do that. Although there's another iron mine around here that we could do. Although nobody has made this one yet. Ah, because it needs a lot of logs. That makes sense. Propping up our uh, mine shaft so it doesn't collapse and kill everyone. That's That seems like ultimately a good thing. How many logs have we got? So we've only got six still. I don't know if the ones that are needed for that are sort of already reserved, but in either case, we probably want to cut down a few more trees. So, work area, cut down trees. Uh, we'll just cut down these ones, because if we're going to want to build a wall here, then it'll be nice to get those out of the way anyway. Oh no, you look a bit uh, upset. You're on low morale. Sit down, have a rest, it'll be fine. What about sticks? We've got 12 sticks, but it feels like we're gathering sticks here. No, you are harvesting plants. Let's put down a stick gathering area as well. I don't know whether these will respawn. The ones under these trees might. I don't know about these ones. 
I guess the trees themselves will eventually respawn, so that's okay. Aha, we've got a new a new person joining. So all the more reason to upgrade a uh, another house. Oh wow, they built... oh no, I was going to say they built this one really quick, but it's this one that we've upgraded. Uh, but we have built the blacksmith, so now we can make iron tools. So hopefully that will uh, really, really help out when we get attacked again, if we can make some in time. So maybe what I want to do, once we're in the Iron Age proper, is sort of disable the tin and copper allowed at these, and then just move our entire sort of metal industry over to iron and steel. Oop, traders arrived again. What have you got for us? You have some bows, some iron ore. Ooh, that's actually not a bad idea, because our mine's still not up and running yet. It'll take a little bit to get that coming in. So perhaps we buy a little bit of iron, just to get things kicked off. So you know what, I will trade you some... Hmm. Almost got it worked out uh, nicely. There you go, we'll just do that, and then we'll make you give us something that's worth one. Do you have anything that's worth one? I'm guessing the goat is not worth one. No, we'll just take some iron and some meat. Wait, what? 29 to, oh never mind fine just be happy with your profit so we got a little bit of iron and now you can start making that in uh, the bloomeries so they got little bellows let's watch somebody go and make this there we go you're bringing all the iron over here now somebody go on oh, there we go yeah working the bellows turning that iron ore into iron and then we can turn that into something well something sharp probably uh, so I'm guessing oh interesting let's actually take a quick look at this so these are all three star yeah three star three star three star three star these all seem to be three star as well so why would we want these instead. Hmm, interesting. Okay, maybe we don't flip everything over to iron as right away then. Maybe we wait for steel. Um, let's have a look at our tax again. So maybe we go straight for steel rather than the deep iron mines, because there's no point otherwise. Hmm. Well, that's a problem for another day. There we go, we've got upgraded another house. Let's do how many how much space have we got left now? Let's upgrade this one and No, I won't do two at once, that's probably be slightly excessive. Aha, we've got four of our megaliths now, two to go. Good. Still plenty of food coming in, perfect. Got lots of people stockpiling water as well. Save them trekking all the way to the river if they're over here and need a drink. Got lots of wool coming from the sheep. Oh, that's the point. I upgraded these uh, these limits over here, didn't I? So we should do a little bit of hunting and um, uh, what's the word? Taming, domesticating. So let's have a look. What have we got over here? Uh, unfortunately it's an old boar so we can't domesticate it, we need to look for younger animals. Here's some. Ooh. There we go. And that's a donkey, so there are definitely still donkeys so we should maybe domesticate some of those as soon as we can. Of course that'll require unlocking that as a technology, so hmm. it means sort of giving up steel or something like that instead. Oh. Some of our dogs are over here. Ah, because you've just hunted that, that auroch. I see. A couple more uh, animals over here, so we'll gather you. And we will... Yep, yeah, can't domesticate you yet, but we can domesticate some of you. You are a bunch of wolves. 
it's kind of nice that we don't have to domesticate the uh, wolves. Dogs will just show up once we've researched dogs. I'm not quite sure how that works, but it's probably a lot safer for us. So that seems fine to me. What do we got over here? Yeah, I got some more pigs. You're off hunting over there. Bring back some more livestock. We'll see if we can get like 10 of each. That seems like a good number. And then we might need to upgrade this stable after all. Is that house still being upgraded? It is, yes. So we won't quite uh, start another one yet. Set a job here as well, gather some more stone. Now oh, we apparently have three megaliths ready for transport somewhere. So there's one over here as well. And there's one way back there. It's got to be a nearer by one, surely. Or perhaps not. But we can worry about that later. Oh, wolf attack. Where's the wolf? Oh, okay. Who was attacked? The person or the wolf? In any case, a little bit more meat, which is fine for us. Uh, oh, you're our hunting dogs. Can't domesticate you, you're already domesticated. Uh, what have we got over here? Can't domesticate any of you either. That's a shame. You look like you might be domesticatable. Yes, there we go. Some more peas. Oh, look at the little peppermints. Uh, oops, actually, I thought I was overloading our people with jobs, but no, we're actually doing okay at the minute. So one thing that slightly concerns me is I don't know whether to make steel needs iron ore, charcoal and charcoal effectively, or whether you need iron bars. Because I maybe, if we're not going to worry about turning things into uh, iron equipment, maybe I don't need to actually get them to making to be making the iron yet. We can just leave them making steel. Does it say in this, um, in the help? Uh, resources? Question mark? Uh, materials? Steel? The hardest, most durable metal. Mm, doesn't actually tell us though. It requires high temperatures to be smelted than bronze. Main advantage over bronze is that iron ore is a lot more abundant than tin ore. Okay, that actually makes a lot of sense. So the iron tools aren't actually necessarily better than bronze ones, but if you have a look at the map, you can see you've got iron, 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 iron. What have we got here? Oh, they're just mines that are already worked. But we spent, I don't remember if it was last episode or the episode before, we spent forever looking for another source of tin because this one's slowly running out. So, okay, that makes more sense. So maybe we do want to keep some iron bars around after all. Oh no! Oh, that was... So they domesticated a pig, but then it got eaten by a wolf. That's kind of frustrating. But hopefully some of the others made it. Uh, let's put down a gatehouse here. We can put down a reinforced gate later on. Oh, that's annoying. It only rotates like that. So how do we want to do this? Hmm. I guess we'll sort of put it in the middle like this. And then we'll have this wall sort of curve around here, and this wall sort of curve around here. In fact, we could move it this way, and just have them, the wall extend this way a little bit more instead. Yeah, maybe we do that. Traders arrives, let's go and chat to them before they leave, and then I'll see if I can remember to build those walls afterwards. Where are you? Have you already left? No, you're just hiding behind the totem. Bring anything interesting? Nah, not really. Thanks for visiting me. Lovely to see you again, as always. Aha! Oh no, it's right, the sticks are still there. I was going to say, I can't actually see where the uh, gate was. So let's put down some more stone walls. Let's drag that like that. That f lines up quite nicely, at least. And then can we put down some more over here? So we sort of want to go... In fact, maybe we just go up to this bit here. I'm trying to look at a 
try and find a good angle for it. So we could just line it straight up here, I guess. Or, no, let's go like that. So we want it to, I guess, go out a little bit here. Like that. And then we'll add just a little bit more running down this way. And then we can actually just recycle this bit of wall. So slightly curvy, but that's fine. It's given us a tiny bit more space for, to put down, I don't know, a farm or something like that. In any case, it is sort of the height of summer. So before it moves to autumn, I think I'm going to wrap this little bit up, up here. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in time for the next episode. Bye-bye.